Could a 343 support studio be building the Battle Royale for Halo Infinite? Highly likely, while also working on their own project, and how your assumptions on this topic might not be correct. If you want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the debate rages on about a battle royale in Halo Infinite. A lot of people claim that it's necessary. A lot of people don't want to see it at all. Personally, I would like to see a battle royale come to Halo Infinite. I think there's a lot of things that Halo can do as a franchise to make the battle royale experience just a little bit more unique and entertaining. Well, you know, we do have multiple studios that are working on Halo as well, not just 343 is working on the development of Halo Infinite. They do hire out studios and one company named A Certain Affinity, who has been a partner with Halo and 343 for many years now, is supposedly working on two different big projects right now. And I'm gonna showcase this right now for you guys. So the first one they're talking about is they're working on an Xbox exclusive title that's a, kind of like a Monster Hunter-like game that's codenamed Suerte, which takes its name from like luck or chants from the Spanish language. So there's been a lot of buzz about certain affinity. So people are kind of looking into like what they're actually doing over there. And there's some really interesting things they're looking to try to do. This Windows Central article kind of goes over some of the topics talking about Project Swear Day and how it's supposed to be like I said, Monster Hunter kind of experience. Looking to possibly have this reveal in 2023 and released in 2024. But it did say it could be bumped up a little bit sooner depending on development and how well they go about doing the whole process. But they also mentioned within the same article that Certain Infinity is currently working on a Halo Infinite mode that could take a popular mode like Battle Royale or something like that in a completely new direction. And they wrote another article just recently, I believe today, uh, going more details into this project. This project being Project Tatanka, which I looked into the word Tatanka. There really isn't much of a meaning. It's more of a name rather than like a word that has any kind of meaning to it. But apparently Certain Infinity is building a new game mode for Halo Infinite. And this is coming from Jez Corden, who's a very well-known insider when it comes to Xbox and information. We've cited him multiple times on this channel and multiple times he ended up being correct. So this is when you see Jez Corden writing an article about Halo and some leaks going on. You definitely want to listen. Saying right here that if Certain Infinity may be working on a new multiplayer mode for Halo Infinite, according to trusted sources familiar with Certain Infinity and 343, the new mode is called Codename Tatanka, which again, like it's just kind of like a name, doesn't really have any kind of meaning behind it thing could be several months out at this point and is designed to be more of a newcomer friendly experience that isn't as demanding competitively than existing modes like big team battle or an, an arena. It's also intended to entice users who typically aren't interested in Halo, potentially targeting gamers on Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, and or Apex Legends, which I feel like that sentence alone is kind of contradictory. Let me explain why here. Because when he states that it's a newcomer friendly mode, which would be people who are new to the mechanics of Halo, which is definitely most people out there, and saying that it's not going to be a demandingly competitive kind of mode like we've seen right now with like Arena and Big Team Battle, but isn't like a Battle Royale kind of a competitive type of mode you would think, right? We see tournaments literally happening for Apex Legends and Call of Duty happen for the Warzone side of things like all the time. And so it's a competitive mode. Like people play these kind of shooters competitively. So if it's more of a newcomer early experience and also not competitive, I would think it'd be more PVE re related kind of things. Maybe something like Firefight returning, but maybe on a much grander scale, which I think would be absolutely amazing. A quick word from our sponsor, Hex Gaming. Hex Gaming right here sent me a controller when I was able to customize it however I like. I have this cool kind of blue flame kind of decal on it. Pretty sweet. But a really important thing that comes with these Hex Gaming controllers is that they got buttons on the back, which in Halo is super useful. For my back pals, I like to use Mark as well as equipment. That way I don't have to take my thumbs off the sticks and I can still be super effective while playing the game. I've been playing with this controller on stream. Essentially what it is, it's a modified Xbox Series X controller. They use the actual hardware. This isn't some weird like Mad Cats knockoff. They take the real deal and they modify it to make it something a little more what gamers want. You can go onto their website as well and customize it however you like. The buttons, the paddles, the tricks, the coatings if you want uh, like a different kind of decal on it and things like that far more customizable than you can do on the Xbox website and I'll say a comparable price to a elite controller but the reason why I'm using my hex gaming controller over my elite controller left bumper right here doesn't work anymore all the buttons on this one definitely work 
They also have different accessories like this one right here. You can see my right stick is actually higher than my left stick. This allows me to have a higher sensitivity and more control over my character as well. A really great addition. Like it's kind of like almost a necessity now for me when playing on controller. Check out the link in the pinned comment and in the description down below to use my referral link. And if you decide to purchase anything, make sure you use my code to get 5% off your purchase. Help support me and help support a smaller company as well. You know what? What game has a really cool co-op mode? Right here. Battlefront 2 actually has a really awesome co-op mode, which is a players versus environment and PvE kind of stuff, where you have these different objective points you need to capture. It's kind of a tug of war, pushing back and forth kind of thing. It's a large scale battle with a lot of AI and a lot of players on your team. I believe that like up to 12 players on your team playing against the AI and they're, they're utilizing vehicles, they're utilizing uh, really high tier weaponry and stuff like that. And you have these kind of points that you rack up while you're playing to earn like these battle points where you can utilize you know, for heroes and stuff like that, much like you have for the multiplayer, which I think would be an awesome experience to bring over to Halo. I would hate to see just like another version of Firefight brought into Halo Infinite because honestly I find Firefight kind of boring and it's been kind of played out at this point. Like yes, it's a very classic mode, very true to the Halo experience. And I I certainly believe that we do need a much more replayable PVE element to Halo Infinite because the AI is amazing in Halo Infinite. I would love to see something well like this coming into Halo Infinite, not exactly like exactly like this, but like in its own way, where like this large scale battle with objectives and more free flowing kind of gameplay where it's not so round based and kind of attack defend kind of thing, which would still be fun, don't get me wrong, but I just think having like this much more large scale kind of environment battle would be a great way to one, bring, bring people into Halo because well, like I said, this is gonna be most likely a non-competitive type of mode, which co-op in this mode right here definitely is a non-competitive mode. Help familiarize people with the gameplay of Halo as well and just like overall would be a huge benefit and would be a really fun casual experience. I would hope to see something like this come into Halo which they do kind of mention that further on in this article. Which it looks like this new mode will have the ability to hook into Halo Infinite's Forge which is pretty cool. I can't wait, wait to see that mode come out. So this is why they're saying it come out weeks later on where most likely we'll probably see this mode come out maybe like in August with the update with Forge for season three. But of course that season three day has not been revealed yet. It's just kind of logical after three months after May would be, well, August, September timeframe. That's when I would expect to see season three. Saying that they also leverage the existing cosmetics and Halo Infinite's existing multiplayer progression while potentially having a new progression system on top of it as well, which I'm like, I mean, more things to do in Halo Infinite? Well, yes, please. And you guys remember about that complaint about Battle Royale and Halo Infinite? A lot of people's major complaints that like, well, it would take away from the development of other things that we want in Halo Infinite that needs to be there, right? And well, we got the game and for the most part, what's absolutely needed for Halo Infinite is there, but things like custom games are kind of in a mess. Theater mode's kind of messed up. BTP is literally not working right now. Uh, we don't have Forge, we don't have Co-op and all these other things, which literally affect the experience and development of Halo. So. Is there a battle royale kind of cooking up in the background that we just don't see quite yet, but we're seeing the effect of it, of its development on the game itself, kind of like searching for a black hole in space, right? Where you can't see the black hole because literally there's no light coming out of it, so you can't see it. But you can see the effect the black hole has around its surrounding objects. So could the effect that we're seeing right now with the lack of content people are saying for Halo Infinite could be the fact that this development of this battle royale mode, it's still taking place within Halo. I mean, that's just completely like fan theory at, my, at that point for me. Uh, but I know a lot of people are probably making the assumption right now that like, well, we basically have Battle Royale right now in Halo Infinite with the mode Attrition. Because so when I look at the mode Attrition here, you see the circle coming in, limited live mode kind of stuff. You're able to revive your teammates and activate powers when you need to. Sounds very much how I would do a Battle Royale in Halo Infinite. And so you're thinking like, well, the developers already put Battle Royale. They just need to make the map and make a you know larger response and stuff like that, which kind of makes sense. So you think they're probably testing out the waters for Battle Royale. Well, a developer who actually made this game mode refutes that claim right here on Reddit. Where this Reddit user basically says that like, this feels like it's kind of like it's Battle Royale light in a way. And 343 Carnivore, who's a prominent member on Reddit who replies to a lot of people, gives a nice long description here where basically what they're saying that they didn't make attrition with Battle Royale light in mind. They just wanted to make a Team Slayer type of mode that has a bit much more of a crescendo is the word that they used towards the end of it to kind of up the tension a little bit, which they saw like, well, Battle Royale certainly does that with the rain closing in and stuff like that, which it certainly does do a great job of it. And I really am enjoying my time playing attrition. Uh, it does seem like it will go away with the Cyber Showdown 
when that event goes away. But uh, it's really cool to know that like 343 is playing around with the idea of Battle Royale, not really making one, but certainly looking like they were kind of leaning into it, possibly. So either way, with this mode from a certain affinity that we're either going to be getting a Battle Royale from it or a really cool PvE mode, which is kind of more my expectation that they're working on right now, that it would be much more inviting to casual people and also bringing in a new audience of people right now because right now the pvp qual amount of players are in the game right now like they're going to keep playing it no matter what but i think a more pve replayable element to halo infinite is very needed for this game right now especially for the more social relaxed kind of experiences as well and so this is what i would think to happen of course this is a developing story and i'll keep you guys updated as soon as we do get some more information but if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right Right here got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.